Quantitative versus qualitative research. How does quantitative research differ from qualitative research? Quantitative research permits you to test hypotheses. In quantitative, the researcher addresses the what or how many aspects of a research question. Research methods include questionnaires, structured observations, and experiments. So, the data collected is mainly expressed in numbers and graphs. It also requires a larger sample size. These numbers are then analyzed through math and statistical analysis. Quantitative approaches are deductive, reasoning from a general idea or theory about the circumstances. Qualitative research allows you to formulate hypotheses. In qualitative, the researcher addresses the why and how aspects of a research question. This approach will yield data that's expressed in words. This type of research also requires fewer respondents. The data is then analyzed by summarizing, categorizing, and interpreting. Qualitative approaches are inductive, observe and then generate theories. Quantitative research, test hypotheses. Qualitative research, formulate hypotheses. Quantitative research, addresses, what and how many. Qualitative research, addresses, why and how. Quantitative research, knowledge is scientific, statistical, objective. Qualitative research, knowledge is relational, interpretive, subjective. Quantitative research, deductive reasoning. Qualitative research, inductive reasoning. Quantitative research, data expressed in numbers. Qualitative research, data expressed in words. Quantitative research, large sample size. Qualitative research, sample size small, 1 to 15. Mixed method approach. There is also a third approach that combines quantitative and qualitative. That is called the mixed method approach. A researcher may use mixed methods that focus on qualitative methods, but also use quantitative methods, such as surveys, to provide a multidimensional approach to researching their topic. Let us look at a research question. What are the study habits of first-year college students that are related to academic achievement? In a qualitative approach, I can do an interview, get a focus group, do a case study. I decide to recruit a small number of students, n equals 6 to participate in an online survey. Students fill out a study habits inventory questionnaire about their study habits and behaviors, rated on a 5-point scale, from 1, not at all like me, to 5, exactly like me. Included in the questionnaire are items related to student organization, elaborating on content, metacognitive abilities like self-questioning, and so on. At the end of the semester, the survey responses are combined and analyzed in relation to the student end-of-year achievement test. The qualitative data is analyzed for trends, patterns, or recurring themes. Through analysis, you gain new insight and come up with a hypothesis. For example, you learn through survey that self-testing and student organization are related to achievement. In a quantitative approach, I can survey 350 undergraduates about their study habits. My study habits inventory questionnaire included similar items on a Likert scale as before. At the end of the semester, regression analyses or statistical methods can be conducted. Each response can be analyzed. Percentages can be calculated. Association of study habits and academic performance can be tested using the chi-square or another test. Based on the significance of the results, I can draw conclusions about study habits and academic achievement. Follow these tips and you will differentiate between quantitative and qualitative research designs. If you liked this video, then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.